we're going to be setting up this keyboard with this iPad. It doesn't really matter which iPad you guys have. It's all going to be the same thing. This is a 2019 iPad, the brand new one, 10.2 inch. And uh, we're just going to set this up really quick. So on your iPad, we just need to go into your settings. In your settings, you will see Bluetooth. So just make sure it's on. Let's just click on it. So just let it run for now. And then on your keyboard right here, we're just going to turn that on. So that's on right up here. And then just make sure it's fully charged or at least has some charge. So if it's not turning on, you should see a blue light right there. Then you should charge it. After that, just press on connect. And what we should see is a light right there. And right here on our iPad, we should see something like this keyboard. Once that pops up, just tap on it. And it's going to ask you to type something in your keyboard in order to identify these. So right now it's telling me 1034. So I want to do 1034. So don't forget, you always have to press the enter key after the number. After that, your iPad should say connected. Okay, and that's this keyboard right here. So at this point in time, I could use my keyboard to scroll down and up on my keyboard. Okay, so it can go down and up. Now it's obviously not meant to navigate your iPad. It's mostly for you guys to work on Word or anything like that. So just let's just open that up so you guys can see how that works. So here we go, you just opened up the notes pad and we're just gonna type it in. There we go, enter, blah, blah, and everything is working fine. So that's the real way to test this out if it's working for you guys. I'm typing a few numbers, and there we go. So that's how you guys can sync it up. Always remember to turn it off once you're done so you're not just wasting the battery. And that's how you would do it with any iPad for that matter. It doesn't just have to be the newest iPad right now, 2019, 10.2 inch iPad right here. Anyways, that's it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write them down here in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.